Good morning, everyone. Welcome to all of you from St. Matthew's and from Cowley St. Lawrence. It's really great to be back with you for our weekly worship. I hope you all had a really good half term. And, you're, and those of you who are at home at the moment are looking forward to coming back into school, hopefully in a couple of weeks time. So welcome, whether you are in school or whether you are at home. And uh, in the next few weeks, we're going to be thinking about some amazing stories about an amazing Bible character from the Old Testament, uh, and his name is Moses. And we've got Reverend June joining us again today, and she's going to help us to think about Moses and an incredible story about when Moses met with God. But uh, we're going to begin by lighting our big candle to show that we're starting our worship, and then I'm going to get us to think about actually what season we are in at the moment. So you might want to be thinking about that. Okay, see if I can reach up to this candle, which is very, very high. And if you've got a candle at home or in your classroom, it's safe, then maybe you could light your candle at the same time to show that we're starting our worship now. You just reach. There you go. Okay, so I wonder if you know what season we are in in the church's year. Turn to anyone you're with and see if you know. If you can look around you, there's a particular colour you can see a lot in church. Can you see what colour is that? That gives you a clue. Does anyone know? Well, we're in the season of Lent. And Lent lasts for about 40 days and it leads us up to Easter. And during Lent, we're going to be thinking about Jesus's journey that took him to the cross. And each week we're going to be looking at a different symbol that helps us to think about a different aspect of that journey. We're going to hear a little bit uh, from the Bible. We're going to look at a symbol and we're going to pray. And this week, our symbol are coins, coins, 30 pieces of silver. They remind us that one of Jesus's closest friends, Judas, betrayed him. And in Matthew's gospel, it says, then one of the 12 who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said, what will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. So we're going to put our coins at the foot of our cross. Let's pray. Lord, we look on your cross and the 30 pieces of silver, which remind us that you were betrayed by one of your closest friends, Judas. Sometimes we let you down and we let down our friends. Please forgive us when we behave like that. Amen. So each week on our journey through Lent, we're going to say this prayer. Would you like to say the words at the bottom of the slide? Lord, as we journey through Lent, keep us close to you. So now we're going to sing our first song for today, which is Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. If you're at home, then feel free to join in the sing as loudly as you like. If you're in school, then join in with the signing. And then after our song, we're going to be joined by Reverend June to help us to think about the story of Moses. Be still for the presence of the Lord. We 
wonder whether you've ever found anything challenging. I used to love a game where you throw a ball in the air and clap once, and then clap twice, then clap three times, and the winner was the person who clapped the most times without dropping the ball. And I was rubbish at it to start with, but I stuck with it and practiced and slowly I began to get better until eventually I was actually able to win some of the games, which was great because I'm actually quite competitive. Well, I wonder what you find challenging. We're thinking this week about a time when Moses found himself facing a real big challenge. What challenge? Well, let's have a look, Robbie, and see what we've got here in my bag. It starts at a time when God's people were really sad because they were living in Egypt and they were being treated like slaves. Yeah, no, it was awful. And they found themselves crying out to God because they hated it so much and asking him to help them. And at the time, Moses was living in the land of Midian, just a little bit near Egypt. What was he doing? Well, let's have a look and see what we can find. <clears throat> he was looking after sheep. And one day he was out in the desert with his sheep when he saw a bush. But the bush was on fire and the strange thing was it wasn't burning up. And when Moses went over to have a look at the bush, he got the shock of his life. Why? Well, I wonder whether you can remember what happened. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. A sandal. Why a sandal? Well, it was because when Moses went over to the bush, suddenly a voice came out from the center of it saying, Moses, Moses, take off your sandals because the ground you're standing on is holy ground. And you can just imagine Moses, pulling off his sandal, thinking what on earth was happening? But then the voice came again from the centre of the bush and it said, Moses, I've heard my people's cry and I've seen what they're going through and I've come down to rescue them. And what's more, I want you to go to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to tell him he must let my people go. Scary, yes, exactly. And you can just imagine Moses saying, but, but, but Lord, what happens if they don't believe me? And what happens if they ask me who sent me? And by the way, Lord, I'm not very good at speaking in public and please, Lord, send someone else. And God could clearly see that Moses was very scared by the challenge, but he was so good because he said to Moses, you don't need to worry because I'll be with you every step of the way. Um, but I'll help you and I'll do some amazing things through you. And what's more, I'll even send Aaron, your brother, to help you with the speaking too. And when Moses heard that, he thought, maybe I can face up to that challenge after all. So he squared his shoulders and started heading off to Egypt. And you know, Robbie, when he got partway there, he met his brother, Aaron. And we'll hear over the next couple of weeks how Aaron was with Moses when he went to see Pharaoh 
and how God helped him in the most extraordinary ways eventually to lead his people out of Egypt. Good story. Okay, I think it's time for you to wave bye bye. Bye! When we come up against something challenging, I want to encourage us, like Moses, not just to give up, but to persevere and find the courage that we can to face that challenge, knowing that God is in there with us and he'll be with us every step of the way, to find the courage to persevere and to do the best we can to find our way through. And I want to finish with a story about a man called Johnny Peacock. He was just five years old when he had meningitis and it affected one of his legs so badly that he had to have his leg amputated below the knee. And he could very easily have thought, I'm so scared living without one le leg that I'm never going to be able to do anything. But he didn't. Instead, he had a new leg fitted that had a special blade on the end of it and he started to learn to play football but as he grew he discovered that he loved running and he had a dream that he would be able to enter the Olympics and he started training hard and eventually he was selected for the 2012 Paralympics and he got through to the final of the 100 meters and when the starter's gun went off, he went off like the wind and he actually won the gold medal. And we've got a picture of him here with his gold medal and also one of him doing a lap of honour with the Union flag. But it didn't finish there because he went on to become a contestant on Strictly Come Dancing as well. And all that with only one leg. It's a pretty big challenge that he faced up to. And when we face challenging things, we may well be like Moses was, feeling a bit scared and a bit nervous. But I want to encourage us to remember Moses and the way that God was in there with him promised he'd be there every step of the way and to remember Johnny Peacock and the way he faced up to the most amazing challenge in an extraordinary way and I want to encourage us not to give up when we face challenging times but as we remember those guys to find the courage with God's help to face up to those challenges and persevere and do the best we can to find our way through, knowing that God will be in there with us every step of the way. And I also want to encourage us to be people who are thinking how we can help and support other folk when they come up against challenging times too. Thank you so much to Reverend June and not forgetting Robbie, of course, for helping us to think about that amazing story of Moses meeting God in the burning bush and how it helps us to realise how God can help us when we face challenging times. So I'm going to pass over to Anna Claire now, who's going to lead us in a short prayer with some actions. So watch what she's teaching you with the actions. And then after we've had Anna Claire's prayer, we're going to have our second song, and it's a song which is also about God helping us in challenging times, and that's My Lighthouse. So again, if you're at home, please join in with the singing. If you're in school, join in with the actions. First of all, over to Anna Claire. So now we're going to have a prayer, and you're going to do some actions along with me. So we're going to say, Father God, please give me the courage to face the challenging times and to find our way through. Help me to remember you are always 
with me. I'm going to say, Amen. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. to show So let's turn to some prayers as we're coming towards the end of this week's worship. And we're going to start with the Lord's Prayer. So let's get our hands like that. You ready? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And we're going to finish our worship today by saying together the school prayer. So let's say together, Dear Heavenly Father, up above, look down on our school with love. Shower us with happiness, shield us from sadness, together forever. Amen.
So once again, thank you everyone for joining in from home and from school. Thank you to Reverend June, to Robbie and to Anna Claire for, for helping us to think about that amazing story of Moses and the burning bush. We're going to hear lots more stories about Moses in the next few weeks. But I hope that that story will remind you that as you go through challenging times, maybe this week or in the weeks ahead, that God is with you and God can help you just like he helped Moses. So may God bless you and be with you. And I look forward to seeing you next week.